Well, new at 10, an alarming report from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. New data suggests the center received a record number of tips to their cyber tip line last year, including an increase in tips of children being enticed to online, enticed online to share sexual images or to meet people for sex. It comes as North Alabama has seen at least three child porn indictments and a 160-year child porn sentence this month alone. With Theta One's Ashley Carter spoke to a local nonprofit about what you can do as a parent to help keep your child safe when going online. Between cell phones, tablets, and computers, it's easy for everyone, including children, to get access to the internet, which we all know can come with certain dangers in any community, including this one. It's why the National Children's Advocacy Center works year-round to educate parents on how to protect their children as online sex crimes continue to occur. We just knew, unfortunately, that perpetrators um, would definitely have more of an opening um, to be able to do what they do. Beth Jackson, a therapist and program manager for the National Children's Advocacy Center in Huntsville, says with more children getting online, she isn't surprised the latest report from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says their tip line saw a 35% increase of reports of potential sexual abuse in just a year, with a 17% increase in reports of children being enticed online for sexual purposes. Jackson says the increase in the online component is something they're starting to see more here locally. Well, when talking with our law enforcement, we are finding that there is a digital component that is more often um, involved with some of the cases that are coming through our multidisciplinary team. Jackson says a lot more parents are reaching out to them, concerned with this trend, and want to know what they should do to protect their children. Jackson says it all starts with a conversation. We have to be able to talk about sex too because Again, kids and teenagers are curious, and so another important piece is just get used to it, get comfortable with it, so you are the go-to person for your child when something like this comes up, and that no matter what, we don't want you to be exploited. We don't want you to be manipulated. You're not going to be in trouble, so to speak. Come and talk to me anytime something happens because we can all sometimes make poor choices. Jackson says some other things you can do to keep your children safe online is monitoring what they're doing, including who they're talking to online. She says oftentimes with these crimes, they occur with people the family is familiar with. In Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. Ashley, thanks. Social media sites like Instagram and Facebook are actively tracking and removing any suspected sexual content involving kids and reporting it to the Center for Missing and Exploited Children.